The drug cartel violence in Mexico has taken a turn for the worse. That intensity of violence has led to many former and current members of law enforcement to want these cartels to be named foreign terrorist organizations. Now, I spoke to the former head of the special ops of the DEA. He's asking the government to set aside the politics and start protecting American lives from the global war on drugs. It impacts everybody in America, and whether you're Republican or Democrat really doesn't matter. Derek Maltz spent his life fighting the illegal movement of drugs into the U.S. Now that he's retired, Maltz has become one of the leading advocates in the U.S., calling for the designation of Mexican cartels as FTOs. Because that's what they are. They're operating like terrorists. They're killing like terrorists. They're putting fear in people like terrorists, and they're destroying families like terrorists, right? and they've infiltrated the highest levels of the government of Mexico. After Mexican authorities captured El Chapo's son, they felt forced to release him when their cartel unleashed a wave of violence in the city of Cualiacán, the capital of Sinaloa, the home of the Sinaloa cartel. Heavily armed cartels were taking soldiers hostage, torching vehicles, and taking over roads while prisoners in a nearby penitentiary rioted and escaped. A few weeks later, an American Mormon family was ambushed by a different cartel, killing six children and three women in the state of Sonora, which borders the U.S. This level of violence is something the world has never seen before. That is, until now, according to the DEA. If we designate the cartels as terrorists and we start using the full capabilities of the United States government, Mexico is going to be sorry that they implemented this new law, which makes no sense for anybody but the Chinese, the corrupt politicians, and the cartels. After the killing of the Mormon families, President Trump announced that his administration would designate certain Mexican drug cartels as FTOs. But the administration paused that plan after high-level negotiations with the Mexican government. This designation would allow federal agencies to take different actions when combating cartels. The designation would also allow authorities to charge drug traffickers right here at home connected to the cartels as supporting foreign terrorist organizations. For example, street gangs doing business with the cartels, transporting and selling fentanyl, coke, meth, would face a totally different type of charge if busted, which carries heavier federal penalties. Let's start standing up for the Americans that are dying and families that are being destroyed and communities that are being destroyed. In your neighborhoods on the streets, Fox San Antonio and the DEA will keep you informed and safe.